It's time for something different on the channel. It is time for a little bit of a face cam video, a Fortnite video that a lot of you have been asking for, and that is a tour through my locker. I'm going to do it on my main account, and then other accounts that I own, and show you all of the skins that I have. And then we're just going to play some gameplay with some of the best skins and that sort of thing. Uh, before I get into this video, into talking about Season 4, all that sort of stuff, I just want to say that this video is sponsored and brought to you by Gamerlink. And if you don't know what that is, they are an amazing company. It's a worldwide app, and you can find people to play games with, such as Fortnite. If you're looking for very specific people, you can send out a beacon search, searching for those people that you want. So say you want someone with a mic who is, I don't know, say, level 100 if you want something like that, or, you know, a certain amount of wins, you can search for that, a certain platform, you can search for that on Gamerlink and find people to play with. And if you use the link down in the description and sign up, um, then I will basically be picking one of you guys to send me a friend request on Gamerlink, which is just pick a pixel on Gamerlink, to win this, I'll show you on the store right now, this package right here, 2,800 V-Bucks. I'm picking one from my previous Gamerlink video and one from this video. So I'm waiting until this video to pick the last one. So in a few days, I'll pick two winners who have sent me a friend request on Gamelink at Pixel to win 2,800 V-Bucks each for the platform of your choice. So be sure to check that out in the description. But now it is time for the Locker Tour. Now, first of all, we go to the Battle Pass. Um, I'm recording this on the 30th of April. And essentially, the season ends on the 1st of May. It says on the 30th of April, but realistically, it's the morning of the 1st of May. We don't know when season 4 starts because between 2 and 3, there was a two-day gap. So, I mean, that would make sense, you know, if, if on Tuesday Season 3 ends and Thursday Season 4 starts because um, Thursday used to be the day they updated all the time. There was the big update, the big downtime. It was always on a Thursday. So, it could come out on Thursday. It could come out straight away tomorrow. We don't know. But now it's time for the Locker Tour. Now, if we look at my banners, I should have Save the World stuff, like a founder section for banners, but I don't. So, I'll just give you a quick little look. There's a rundown. If you want to pause that, if you're really interested, you can look at that. There's my Battle Royale stuff. Uh, I, I wish... Like in Call of Duty, they told you what these banners and icons were for, whether it's a battle pass item, a challenge item, something like that. I wish they told you why you had that uh, that thing. But now we're going to go to what everyone wants to see first of all on this account. Of course, like I said, I've got another account, but uh, we're going to go with this one. Uh, we've got, first of all, I'm going to take these headphones off for now because for some reason there's some popping in my ears and I don't like it. We've got uh, the Battle Hound. I'll just go through each and every single one. This one was a really sick skin when it first came out. I was very pumped to use it. Sadly, I haven't really been using it much since... It came out, but it is what it is. We probably have next my most used skin of all time, the Black Knight. I got this last year in December. Um, it's a very cool skin. And now with John Wick being kind of the norm, a lot of people playing the game and a lot of people finally getting to tier 100 on the Battle Pass. John Wick doesn't really mean a lot to people. L people are literally saying it's like the new default skin, whereas Black Knight is still a little element, a little element of OG sort of play in there. We have the Crack Shot, which... Uh, uh, a lot of people say Fortnite's uh, not pay to win. Some people say it is. This is literally pay to lose because this skin is notorious for literally blocking your view with the hat it's wearing. So I haven't really used that much at all. This one is a very cool skin, the color team leader. When it first came out, I was wearing holiday, so I get, didn't get it. And I was very bummed out about it because it was around about this time they were really bringing out like different and unique skins. You know, the color team leader, the love ranger, obviously the wings came with the love ranger. Everyone really liked that, and I missed it, but luckily it did come back. This is another skin that you see, and you, you take note of. You always seem to notice it a little bit more when you get killed by this bad boy, because it's just, it's bright, it's kind of annoying, it's in your face, so that's a good one that I will probably revisit. We've got the Dark Vanguard, which, um, again, possibly a pay to lose. It, it, like the Dark Voyager, it literally lights up, and if you're confident enough to use it, great. If you can do make clips with it, it looks awesome, but the Dark Vanguard and the Dark Voyager, both of which look pretty cool, in my opinion, the Dark Vanguard takes the win. And the, the Voyager takes the L. Uh, but they both look very, very cool. And if you can pull them off and look good doing it, then that's great. We now have the Havoc, which I believe was one of the Twitch Prime skins uh, that you get. So, you know, you do see some very sweaty players with this one. You know, they don't really buy any skins. This is the only real skin that they get uh, because they have Twitch Prime. And, and that is a sweaty, sweaty skin. This skin, the Leviathan, it came out. Everyone was, like, using it. Um, but now it's kind of it's kind of died down. It is a little bit kind of weird when you really look at it and you know there's no neck <laughs> nothing's going on there it's a little bit strange we have the love ranger of course you know this was a great skin there was obviously that meme where um i think it might be musalk who sat in haunted hills and pretended to be a statue and it actually worked when this wasn't really mainstream we have the power cord which i got when i first got it because look at these v bucks you know i make videos i get v bucks you know i do all this stuff i buy skins you know that's just part of me <laughs> um i've never actually used this skin but I got it. You know, had I had that been in my refund period, I probably would have done that. And by the way, you still can't go to your purchase history. So please stop asking in the comments of my last video <laughs> about the, the refunds and stuff. The Raptor, a really good skin. But one thing I'm really glad about getting with the Raptor, 
Although I don't know if I got this with, the, I think I bought this at the same time as the Raptor and they're supposed to be used together, but it wasn't literally a joint package, is the Spade, because that is still my preferred axe of choice. I love the Spade. I don't know why. It's different. It's clean. I like it a lot. We've got the Raven. Still really like this skin. It's a very, very nice looking skin. It looks saucy. I'm loving it. The Rex, um, I didn't use as much as I thought. Again, this was around the time when like new and bright and crazy different weird skins weren't in the game as much as they are now. Uh, so this was like a big one. You know, it's a real genuine costume here. Um, but, and that wasn't really around. Obviously, we have the Reaper, but everyone just calls it John Wick. I don't, no one really calls it the Reaper anymore. Um, that's just solid. You've got that. We've got the Triceratops. Still haven't used that yet, but I definitely will get around to using that, I promise you. Uh, we've got the Wukong skin. I used that a few times. It was, it was pretty dope. And now we're moving in. We've got these. I'll go through these a little bit quicker, because these are kind of the rarer, but not as rare ones, not as used ones. We've got the Alpine Ace China. Um, obviously the whole red army thing from H1Z1 was a thing when I played it So this was like special to me and I love the look of the Chinese flag on that. We've got the great British one I did have the um the mogul master the female version of this but that was one of my refunds for 1500 v bucks we have of course got the bright gunner equipped with the bright bag so it's a good thing i made that bright bag video a few days ago otherwise now it'd be completely obsolete we have the bunny brawler the burnout which i honestly thought i would use for a little bit longer but it kind of just died down for me it still looks absolutely sick and i really love it but it's just not i don't know i just i, I really like the black Knight. i always have i made a video months ago saying it was like the best skin in the game back then and it was back then but now it's up for debate we have the elite agent this is quite a sweaty, try-hardish kind of skin, because if you've got all of the Season 3 Battle Pass, most people, they just use John Wick. If you're if you're using this one, you've got a bit of class about you, and I, I respect that. This one, when it came out, I kind of, I really liked it. I was like, hmm, this is good, and a lot of people thought the same thing. It was kind of different and cool, but now no one really uses it. <laughs> anyway, we've got the Merry Marauder, one of my only, one of my only skins that really shows how long I've been playing the game, on this account at least. Um, the gingerbread man from Christmas. Will they come back at Christmas? Will the Skull Trooper and the Ghoul Trooper come back on Halloween? We don't know. We'll find out. But that's that's a long way away. So for now, this is still an OG skin. We've got the Mission Specialist. I believe that's part of the Battle Pass. The Moonwalker. The Rogue Agent. Again, another one that I thought would look really cool. This was a separate purchase package. I think it's £5 for this and a few V-Bucks. And it does look really sick. Just another one that really didn't get the chance to be used. We have the meme itself. The Rust Lord. King of the Scrap Heap. Just... It needs to stay in Junk Junction where it belongs, basically. I don't like this skin, just because everything about it, I don't know. We've got the Sparkle Specialist. This one looks cool. I've used this a few times. We've got the Sub Commander. Never used that. I'm not sure if that was a Twitch thing or not, but something's telling me it was something to do with that. We have the Tomato Head. I repped that for a little bit. It was kind of cool, kind of funny. Um, the Blue Squire. That used to be like the meme skin back in the day. Like in December, people using that were bad at the game. Now if you use it, you're kind of an OG. So if you've got the Blue Squire, which was pretty easy um, back in the day in Season 2, then why not rep it? You know, that was like the default skin back then. But now it kind of, it's a little bit different. The Bright Bomber, of course. I think that and the Bright Bag looks very, very good together. The Codename Elf. An another one, um, a really overlooked one in the, the Christmas I think, special skins, because obviously the gingerbread kind of took the W for that, but I really like this one, and I used it back then. I thought it was pretty cool. We've got the, we've got Markiplier, <laughs> basically. <laughs> um, Midnight Ops, this looks very, very cool, very clean. The Royal Knight, or the Royal Knight, I should say. The Sergeant Green Clover, this one took me till the second time for it to come up to purchase it, because I wasn't really feeling it, but then I had a load of V-Bucks, and I thought, yeah, you know what, I'll buy it. And probably one of the best value for money skins in the game to finish off, the Whiplash. Uh, this was, I think, 800 V-Bucks. 800 V-Bucks for an entire character. You would spend more on that, more than that on, like, some, well, not more than that. I think the expensive emotes are the same as that. Or a glider that's more than that. Some of the gliders, like the Royale Dragon, 2,000 V-Bucks. This was 800, and it looks good. I really like it. So that, that's my uh, outfit locker for my main account. The back bling, we've just got everything that comes with it. Of course, we have, uh, you know, this is probably... One of my favorite back blings, the special delivery. If I'm not using the Black Knight skin, I like to chuck the Black Shield on whatever I am using. So I repped John Wick in the Black Shield, so it's like tier 100 of both seasons kind of thing. I really like the Black Shield if I'm not using the Black Knight. I also really like the Royale flags. That's one of my favorite back blings. And now, recently, of course, I'm I'm repping the Bright Bag. I, I do genuinely like the Bright Bag, not just because of the hype surrounding it. Like I said, my favorite uh, pickaxe, the Icebreaker, is there. This used to be mad hype, ACDC, but to be honest, I think it's just way too loud in-game. Um, a few of my other pickaxes that I've, I've genuinely repped, I repped the pick, pick squeak for a little bit, but that didn't last for long. The Party Animal, I really, really liked. I used that quite a lot. I used the Sawtooth and the uh, Axcalibur when I wanted to be kind of like mysterious and edgy. I used the Plunger more recently, and I really liked it. I used that once and never used it again because, <laughs> in my opinion... 
it wasn't very good. I used that for a little while when it was new, but it always eventually comes back to the icebreaker no matter what. Now, if we go back to my locker, what else we got? We got the gliders. Now, I used to always use the high octane glider back a couple months ago when it was very new. It was the tier 100 challenge, so very few people had it. Now, my favorite glider is the feathered flyer. Uh, always has been since it came out. I really, really like it. But some other honorable mentions, the Royal Dragon, definitely overhyped. But I just think it's, it's so crazy and so out there that people got excited about that. I used the Rainbow Rider for a while. I sometimes use the Founder's Umbrella just to feel kind of cool. But another one that I think was overrated was the Deep Space Lander. I didn't, I don't even think I've used that at all. But that's kind of what we're looking like in my um, glider section. This is going on a lot longer than I thought. I didn't think it would be this in-depth, so uh, we'll, we'll keep going. Obviously, this one, I, I naturally, I liked using the flames first of all, and I really, really did enjoy it, but now there was some kind of update. I don't know if they fixed it now, but the flames were way too big. Like, you couldn't see anything on the way down, so now I go a bit more subtle. I go, I swap between the, the all-star, the rainbow, and the ultramarine. The only one I don't use is the bubbles. So, you know, all the trails, they're fairly solid in, the, solid in their own rights. I did use the elite agent loading screen for a long time, but then I think... After dying every single time and seeing a dull loading screen, it just annoyed me. <laughs> so I swapped to the Bright Unicorn. Um, and now if we look at my emotes, this is kind of what my top six is looking like. I mean, this one's very new. I haven't used this in-game yet. It's the Tidy. It's the it's the Tidy emote. You know what it is? Um, but we've got the Wiggle. I really like that one. Disco Fever, really like that one. You can see most of these emotes near the top of my list of my top 10 best and worst emotes in Fortnite video. You can check that out. We got Flippin' Sexy. I'm yet to really do any kind of memes, trick shots with that, but I'd love to do that. Best Mates has been a long-standing favorite of mine. I had a connection with this move before it came out in Fortnite. I did my own video doing it, so that's why it's pretty sick. The robot, I didn't give a, as enough credit in my uh, emotes video, I don't think. It, it is pretty cool. I think the value of it just kind of dropped a bit because it's like a tier 95 emote, which is the hardest you have to work for an emote. And then, of course, we have the tidy. So that is what my locker on this account is looking like. I was going to show you my other account, but this has gone on way longer than I thought. So basically, the only things really that I have on that other account that are worth mentioning, the Skull Trooper, the Ghoul Trooper, and then the female version of the Merry Marauder. So we've got, obviously, we've got this. It's just the girl version of that. They got, she's got a ponytail on the back. She's got that Fortnite female figure. That's it. And then we have the Skull Trooper and the Ghoul Trooper. That's, those, to my knowledge, are the only real things worth showing on my other account. And this has gone on long enough. So basically, that's my other account. This is this account. That's my locker. So many people have asked for my locker. So many people want to see what's in my locker. And other people have made videos on it. And it looks pretty fun. And this was cool. I love talking about things I'm knowledge knowledgeable about. So this was fun. So now I'm going to stay on this account and play a solo game. Because I think just going onto their account, show a couple skins and play with that. Yes, people will treat you differently with the Skull Trooper skin. But I just want to get in and play the game now. I've spoken about skins long enough. Let's go solo with my main main loadout for season three let's get it it was at this point that my internet messed up so badly that i actually couldn't get into a game of fortnite i tweeted out this genuinely i can't explain the rage that i'm feeling so i'm just gonna chuck in a squad game that i have saved on my computer i'll just make highlights of that Sorry for that. I hope you do enjoy the video. Season 4 is coming out soon. Subscribe today. Join the Pixel Army. Once again, thank you to Gamerlink for sponsoring this video. Check them out in the description. And I'll see you in the next video very soon. Oh shit. Be careful. Okay. Oh, now we're talking. Oh, yep. South right there. Got one. You'll wait. I think I can take this. I got him. Holy shit. Have you got the S and some um heal? Got one. I hit one once in the back. Oh. Yeah, I hit him oh, too. Bro. Let's just run in there to be honest. I think we oh, can do shit, this. But okay, we should was good. Da 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 someone cover me. Okay. Be careful. Yeah, I I rate my chances. Ooh. On the right, yes, yeah. Oh shit. I knocked one oh, from the sniper. Oh good, good. Oh my god. Oh hello. One more. Holy shit! Bye bye! <laughs>
What the fuck? Ah, oh, GG. Jesus. <laughs> GG. GG. Well played.